So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA and we're back here for another Yo, New York Knicks My GM. Yo, if you guys have been missing out on this series, go ahead and check it out. In the last episode, we actually went ahead and did the Summer League. I will make sure to go ahead and put a link to it in the description below. But today, we're going to be playing the Season Opener. So if you guys want to see more of this series, make sure to go ahead and like up this video. Hit that subscribe button. The next video will be coming out at 200 likes. So show that love. Show all of that support. Now, the plan is we are going to be playing Anthony Simmons um, in this game. And then we're going to just test him out. Just seeing how well he does. We're probably going to end up sending him to the G League after this game. Just so that he can develop around other uh, prospects more of his skill up because he is coming straight out, out of high school But I do want to see him against some NBA level competition and who knows maybe he goes off, but yo the magic have Trey Young Trey Young Aaron Gordon Mario and Zonia that team is actually really really good So like I said if you guys enjoyed this video like it up Let me know which trades we should be making any types of moves and stuff like that But other than that, let's get straight into the season opener ranked as the 14th best team Let's see what Chris Stops and Porter can do in this game. Let's get it. This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside you, David. regular season here some teams off and running but Brandon right, Fuse had a, a talented roster that's not coming together yet what steps do you take all right y'all so it is game time they do start off with the ball first here's Trey Young you guys already know what Trey Young is all about passing up to Vucevic and Trey Young's wide open for the three Frank what <laughs> where the defense at playboy so they are up three to zero Frank Neely King with the rock going right back to Chris Stops. he's collecting the body and one give me that that's money that's money. Now, I do got to say, Chris Stops went off in this game. So did Trey Young. So did Michael Porter. Anthony Simmons, he was he, he was all right. He, he was all right. We're probably going to end up playing him in the G League for the rest of this season. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to take forever getting through this season. I do want to make more trades than, than my last my GMs. But here's Michael Porter on the drive. Getting his first bucket as a New York Nick with the ISO. He had that boy on skates, crossed up Isaac. Went all the way, throws it up. He gets lucky, but hey, man, that's a way to start off your NBA career. But as I was saying before, you guys, I do not want to take a long time going through this season. And I will definitely be making more trades than I did in my in my other My GM series. I'm definitely going to be making more. Here's Porter. Easy money. But yeah, definitely a lot more trades. I actually do want to make a trade in the next episode. So let me know who we should look at trading and give me some scenarios in the comment section. Obviously, people would want me to trade Courtney Lee or Joaquin Noah. I do want to keep this fairly realistic, and there's no way anybody takes any one of those deals unless they are getting a draft pick or something. And I'm not giving that up. But anyways, getting back to the game, players Tim Hardaway Jr. going all the way in with the jam. Maybe we look at trading Tim Hardaway Jr. I mean, he's actually he's actually decent for us, and I'm not looking to be all that great this season as we run that pick and roll to perfection. But I'm not looking to like be all that amazing. I, I, I'm really not. I'm actually looking to like be kind of bad. Maybe next year's draft we pick up R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish. I would actually like to like get R.J. to be real, since I, I did have Cam before. Uh, maybe we go that route. Or we trade that pick in general and run Anthony Simmons at shooting. We really don't know. Here's Porter knocking down the three. Right now, we are up 26 to 21. Next play, we got Emmanuel Moody and Anthony Simmons shaked. And Anthony finds KP in the corner for the three to get his first assist of his career. Look at that pass from Moody. He sees him wide open on the corner. And KP with an easy knockdown three point shot. But anyways, getting back into the gameplay, Mario and Zonia. Ooh, that was a nice block by, by KP. And Free Simmons on the break. Passing up to Michael Porter. Porter sees that hole. Give that to Moutier. And I like how we have so many great point guards. Eventually, one of them got to go. Obviously, we have Emmanuel Moutier. We have Rank Neal Aquino. We have Anthony Simmons, who will be going to the G League. And we have Trey Burke as well. We do find Anthony right in the corner. And I ain't going to lie. He struggled a lot this game. A lot. Here's Moody going all the way in. We're going to find Anthony, Anthony Simmons. He's going right up, and he gets fouled. But, yo, he struggled. We actually gave him so many wide-open threes, 
and he, he was looking like Paul George in the three-point contest. Bricks upon bricks. But he does score his first points in the NBA from the free throw line. Not a bad way to start. Hopefully he has a great career for us. But just looking at this Knicks team, we have so many point guards. And I, I'm, I'm not going to be trading them away. I mean, some of them have so much value. Maybe towards the middle of the season, since we signed Trey, uh, Trey Burke this offseason, maybe we, we maybe we look to like trade away him and Moutier. Because I do, I really don't want to pay Moutier 15 mil a season. He's, actually, since I don't think he's the future. I, I really just do not think he's the future. So let me know what you guys think that we should be doing. And here we go. End of the first half. Trey Young knocks down that shot. Going into halftime, we are down 39 for 47. They are up. KP has 14 and 5. And Trey Young in his rookie debut already has 20 points at the half. We got to shut that down. Frank needs to step up on defense for show. Michael Porter's back out here. We're going to look at Tim Hardaway Jr. Look at Frank Nielakina. He has two points. He is going well with the assist. But here's KP going all the way in. Give me that and one. And one. That's what I'm talking about. We're out here getting money. We're out here getting money. But, yo, as I was saying before, uh, I'm not really hundred. I'm not really sold on Frank Nielakina. Yes, he's great on defense, but... In the long run, I do think that Anthony Simmons is better. Like, I, I really do that. I really do think that he is better because, yo, know, defense is amazing, but we also need some offense on this team. Uh, personally, even though Frank did lead our team in assists this game, I personally do think that Anthony Simmons is a better playmaker. Uh, I even, even his ratings there are better as well, and, of course, he is a better shooter. So let me know what you guys think about that. Here's Anthony Simmons. He has four points. He's finding Moutier for the green light three. Yeah, Moutier was knocking out jumpers today. He actually, I think he had two threes. I think he had about two threes. Here's Anthony on the step back getting money. But I just I just think that we're, we're going to have to see about this after season number two. Obviously, we're going to be trading Simmons to, to the G League. He was our first round pick, but he is very, very young. And I do want him to develop nicely. So, hey, man. G League is the way. His overall and his progression is going to be a whole lot better. End of the third quarter. Right now, we are down by five points. Moody going all the way in. I don't know how he made that, but I really rocks with it. Here's Trey Young. Trey Young breaks the three. We are in the fourth quarter. Trying to get that lead back. We are not that far off. Did you feel me? We're just really not. Come on. Don't throw this away. KP finds Simmons. Finally, hits a three. I think that's like his first, his like first one out of like five attempts, though. It's cool. His percentage is pretty trash, though. All right. So getting into it, we are starting to come up with a nice little run. We are playing great defense. Doing all, oh, look at that block. Getting the rebound. Yeah, in the fourth quarter, we actually did decide to go with Anthony Simmons, which is kind of crazy because, you know, we had Frank there. Frank was playing horrible. We needed, like, Frank was getting wide open jump shots. And, and even though Simmons wasn't making a lot of his earlier run, He's capable of it. Like, Frank was just breaking all game. We, we, we had to put in Anthony Simmons, and we're up by four right now. So, it's kind of crazy how in a late game stretch, our young 17th overall draft pick was getting more PT than our top 10 draft pick from the year earlier, which is kind of crazy. But here's Anthony Simmons. Ooh, look at that. This man is mixing them up, passing it off to... Tim Hardaway, give me that. Oh, that's kind of bad, but hey, it's really whatever. KP on an island all by himself, going ISO, going pass up to Cantor. He's wide open. That's too easy. In less than a minute left, we are up by um, oh, oh, we up by eight, but that was just too nasty to not to not even care about y'all. Way too nasty. But like I was saying earlier, let me know what you guys want to see in this series. Which key games, which trades, all the kind of stuff like that. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to try to be double uploading with a rebuild and possibly another Knicks episode. So make sure to go ahead and stay tuned for that. Right now, we are up by 12 points, playing great defense. All we got to do is just close this thing out. We already got this thing in the back. Trey Young breaks that shot off. But in the end, we do go we do, we do go ahead and walk away with a W. But at this point, we kind of got a stat pad. Of course, we are going to stat pad. That, 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 that's what we do. We win 90 to 77. 13 point victory for the New, for the New York Knicks. And this was a pretty good team. Hopefully, we, we start losing some. But Trey Young only scored five points in the second half. 
Ooh, 25, six assists, five turnovers, three of 13 from, from the three. That man was jacking it up. Other than that, Aaron Gordon had nine and ten. Simmons got clamped with only four points. Um, yeah, as far as our team goes, Chris stops with 28, 11, five, four steals, four blocks, four blocks. Now, those six turnovers are nonsense, but he was 11 and 17 from the field and one of five from the three. Michael Porter Jr. with 24 points, four rebounds, four assists, and one block. Moutier with 12, four, seven, two, oh, two of three from, from the three. That man was definitely dominating. Anthony Simmons, 11 points, six assists off the bench. Cantor with 13 rebounds as well, and two of three from the field. So this team actually played really, really nice. Let me know what you guys think about this episode, and stay tuned for the next one. A like up this video, 200 likes for the next episode. It's probably going to be a trade one, so stay tuned for that. Frank... Eh, we'll worry about him later, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. Man, this, this team is actually gonna be nice, man. But I'm out. Peace, y'all. Cause niggas started talking to me like I'm slowing down. Opinions over statistics, of course. Come at me and all you'll get is the ballistic report.